Okay, so this tutorial is just I've just finished recording my previous video, the how to get paint.net, and this one, in this one, I'm going to show you how to create like shadow, shadow reflect reflection of text plus adding a gradient in paint.net. So once you downloaded it, it should be there. Okay, so here's your colour palette. And if you wanna if you wanna um, add something or take something away, you click on window and then choose there. It's got the hotkeys and everything. Okay, so now I've got my layers palette up. Layers works same principle as um, Adobe Photoshop. You click that to add a new layer. That to delete a layer. That to du duplicate a layer. And then you can move your layers up and down to depend on what it shows over what. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first, you're gonna click the gradient tool, and it should be on black and white change it like that and then there I'm gonna just drag it upwards like that and then I'm gonna use that dot there get bigger use that dot there to pull it up like that okay so there you go and now I'm gonna click on my text tool and change there, the colour to a blue, so it's like my website colour. But first, okay, so I'm gonna click new layer and then double click it, double click the layer there, and then I'm gonna title it text layer. So it's text layer. So now my text layer is on there. I'm gonna have it so it's highlighted. And the text tool tool should still be open. And then I'm gonna change the font all the way down to T. And I'm gonna change it to Trebuchet MS. And I'm gonna put the font size into 45. Move it around by clicking on that arrow and then type in my computer tech. Sort of put it in the middle. And okay, so there. That's that. And then you click duplicate layer and then rename it text reflection. And then click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Layers and Flip Vertical. Okay, so just do Layers, Flip Vertical. And then notice that down here, there you've got the reflection. Oh, whoops. Down there you've got the reflection, so I'm going to click Move Selected Pixels. Work better with something that didn't have a P or a Y or a G in it because then it does. It does that. See, so it doesn't work entirely as good, but it still works. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click. new layer and then there click that arrow so it goes to the bottom no it doesn't go in the bottom I'm going to move this 
down there. And then make layer 4 called gradient. Call it text gradient. Make that go there. And then I'm going to click the gradient tool. I'm going to click black and white, which is right there. So that automatically changes it. I'm going to click more and click select the secondary one or click switch. And then take the transparency down to zero. And then I'm going to switch it back to primary. Choose the gradient, and then the gradient's going to go pull it up like that, and then use that dot there to bring it up. There, you got your gradient. Now what you got to do is you use the rectangle select and just select your bit of the logo. And then there, click crop to selection, and then you have it. There's your logo, there's the reflection, and that's my paint first paint.net tutorial.